He is known for his contributions to philosophy during the 17th century. He is recognized for his teachings at Christ's College, Cambridge and his notable pupils, including in Finch. His name is Henry Moore. Henry Moore, a renowned philosopher and scholar, was born into a Calvinist family in Grantham, Lincolnshire in 1614. His parents held strong religious beliefs, but Henry himself could never fully embrace their rigid doctrine. From a young age, he showed a curiosity and open-mindedness that set him apart from his family. After receiving a thorough education at the King's School in Grantham and Eton College, Henry went on to study at Christ's College, Cambridge. It was during his time at Cambridge that he developed a reputation as a brilliant scholar. He excelled in his studies, earning both a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. Despite his academic success, Henry declined numerous prestigious positions, including the mastership of his college. Instead, Henry chose to dedicate his time to teaching and writing. He became a fellow at Christ's College and mentored many notable students, including Anne Finch, sister of Hanege Finch, who would later become Earl of Nottingham. Through his teachings, Henry inspired a generation of thinkers and shaped their understanding of philosophy and spirituality. One of Henry's most influential relationships was with Lady Conway, a spiritual enthusiast and patron of the arts. Lady Conway's country estate in Ragley, Warwickshire, became a haven for Henry, where he would spend a significant amount of his time. Surrounded by the peaceful woods of Ragley, Henry found inspiration for his writings and engaged in deep philosophical discussions with Lady Conway and other intellectual figures of the time. Lady Conway's spiritual fervor greatly influenced Henry's philosophical speculations, even though she eventually became involved with the Quakers. She introduced Henry to individuals like William Penn, Franciscus Mercurius van Helmont, and Valentine Great Rakes, mystical thaumaturgists of the 17th century. Together, they created a community centered around devotion and spiritualism at Ragley. Henry Moore's journey as a philosopher and scholar was marked by his rejection of his family's Calvinist beliefs and his pursuit of a more open-minded approach to understanding the world. His teachings and writings continue to inspire generations, showcasing the power of intellectual curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Henry Moore, a rationalist theologian of the 17th century, was deeply intrigued by the nature of the soul and its relationship with the body. He found himself at odds with René Descartes' theory of dualism, which posited that the mind and body were separate entities. Moore questioned the concept of an immaterial soul having the ability to interact with the physical body, stating, it would be easier for me to attribute matter and extension to the soul than to attribute to an immaterial thing the capacity to move and be moved by the body. Moore's rejection of Cartesian dualism stemmed from his belief that all things must possess extension in order to exist. He argued, it is plain that if a thing be at all, it must be extended. For Moore, even the realm of the spiritual should have extension. This led him to contemplate the existence of a fourth dimension in which the spirit could be extended, offering an original solution to the mind-body problem. In his philosophical pursuits, Moore sought to reconcile the seemingly disparate realms of the physical and the spiritual. He understood the limitations of attributing immateriality to the soul, as it presented challenges in terms of interaction with the body. Moore's exploration of the concept of extension in the spiritual realm hinted at a deeper understanding of the interplay between the mind and the body. Moore's philosophical insights can be applied to our daily lives by encouraging us to question and explore the nature of our own existence. Just as Moore challenged the notion of an immaterial soul, we can examine our own beliefs and assumptions about the mind and body. By contemplating the possibility of an extended spiritual dimension, we may develop a more holistic understanding of ourselves and our connection to the world around us. Henry Moore, a prolific writer of verse and prose, had a diverse body of work that encompassed his philosophical and religious views. Although he began his career as a poet, he eventually transitioned to prose writing. One of his earliest works, Psychodoia Platonica, or, A Platonic All Song of the Soul, was published in 1642 and consisted of four poems. This was followed by his collection of philosophical poems in 1647, which included, The Song of the Soul. Moore's prose works were extensive and varied, reflecting his wide range of interests and beliefs. Among Moore's notable prose works was, Philosophiae Teutonicae Censura, in 1670, which critiqued the theosophy of Jacob Bohm. He also edited Joseph Glanville's Sagicismus Triumphatus in 1681, contributing annotations and sharing Glanville's belief in witchcraft and apparitions. Moore's correspondence with John Worthington and John Norris was also published, showcasing his philosophical and moral discussions. His collected philosophical writings, titled Antidote Against Atheism, were first published in 1662 and included various treatises on topics such as the immortality of the soul and the existence of God. 
Throughout his career, Moore tirelessly translated his English works into Latin and published complete editions of his works, including Opera Theologica, in 1675 and Opera Philosophica, in 1678. He fulfilled a legacy left by John Coxhut by translating even more of his English works into Latin. Several abridgments and extracts of Moore's writings were published, and in 1708, The Theological Works of the Most Pious and Learned Henry Moore was released for charitable libraries. In order to understand Moore's life and works, scholars have relied on sources such as Richard Ward's biography, the preface to his complete works, and an apology published in 1664. His writings have been analyzed and discussed in various works, including John Tullock's Rational Theology and Johann George Ritter von Zimmermann's Henry Moore und die Vier Dimension der Roms. The Tercentenary Studies, edited by Sarah Hutton, also provide valuable insights into Moore's philosophy and contributions. Henry Moore's diverse body of work continues to be studied and appreciated today. His writings offer unique perspectives on philosophy, religion, and morality, and his dedication to translating his works into Latin demonstrates his commitment to reaching a wider audience. While his philosophy may not be widely known in popular culture, scholars value his contributions and recognize the relevance of his ideas in understanding the complexities of human existence. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.